The world is full of good news. The following are just a few. The environmental ministers of Austria, Croatia, Hungary, Serbia and Slovenia sign an accord to preserve a cross-border nature reserve, the first such five-country protected area in the world, which is being called Europe's Amazon. Foreign Minister Hugo Martinez of El Salvador arrives in India for his first official visit as he meets with government leaders and signs cooperative agreements in areas that include the environment, education, science and technology. Measuring just 2.4 centimeters in length, the ancient greening damselfly, a tiny dragonfly belonging to a 250 million year old species, has been seen making a remarkable comeback from the brink of extinction in the Australian states of Victoria, South Australia and Tasmania. South Korean officials announced that humanitarian aid for North Korean infants will resume in April with shipments of nutritional food and medical supplies. Iraq's Agricultural Initiative Commission, headed by Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki, affirms plans to form the National Council for Water to help relieve a drought affecting the country by creating equal distribution of water among provinces for household use and irrigation. To show solidarity with the people of New Zealand, Fiji's government donates US$20,000 for post-quake assistance to the city of Christchurch as it also expresses willingness to help with reconstruction efforts in any way possible. Governor of Saudi Jeddah Governorate, Prince Michal bin Majid, welcomes members of the Japanese Peace Boat Organization arriving at the Jeddah Islamic Port as part of their world tour to spread peace and brotherhood. Researchers from the University of Minnesota in the USA find that the phytochemicals contained in many plant-based foods are potent anti-cancer agents, suggesting that eating a wide variety of colorful fruits and vegetables daily is an effective therapy for cancer prevention. One of the world's foremost yoga instructors, 92-year-old BKS Iyengar, sends a letter to designer Donna Karan on behalf of animal welfare organization PETA, requesting that she stop using rabbit fur in her clothes, saying that the animals have the right to live in peace. The Saudi Arabian cities of Riyadh and Jeddah host Uzbekistan Culture Days with acclaimed Uzbek representatives of art and culture in attendance, as well as local dignitaries.